Okay, station is ready for the voice check. Station, this is Wall Street Journal. How do you hear me? I have you loud and clear. How are you doing? I'm doing well, thank you. We're joined by, today by astronaut Reed Weissman aboard the International Space Station, who's going to tell us about his tech essentials, the gear, technology, uh, and equipment that he loves and needs during his time in orbit. Now, on Earth, we've been rewarded with a steady stream of incredible and sometimes funny images and videos that you and your fellow astronauts have sent us over Twitter and Vine. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about how using these platforms has, has changed your life as an astronaut? Well, sure. In, in the olden days, when you, had, uh, when you had just standard old film in your, in your 800 millimeter camera, then you were taking pictures, bringing them home, getting them developed, and it was hard to share them. But uh, in this day, uh, actually the Earth is, is right above me uh, right now, and the sun, I can see the sun's just coming up. So uh, it's, it's just a gift that I can take this camera right into the cupola, take a few pictures of uh, cities or the Earth with space behind it. I just go down to my crew quarters, throw that thing on email, and uh, send it out to the Twitterverse. And uh, to me, I mean, that's fantastic. So this adventure that so many kids dreamed about when they were growing up, it's now uh, just a few mouse clicks away, and they can kind of share it, even if they're not here, uh, it kind of brings the adventure home, and, uh, and I love the enthusiasm that we're seeing. It's uh, fantastic for us. Now, the camera and the lens that you just held is the 800 millimeter lens, I'm guessing, which uh, you seem to have fallen in love with recently. Uh, can you tell me a little bit about your camera equipment and how you go about deciding what and when and where to photograph? Occasionally it is fun to go and grab the 800 millimeter and look down on cities and uh, and with this new lens it's actually stabilized. We just got it a few weeks ago and uh, you would think floating around in space you don't need the stabilized lens but it helps fantastic and uh, and the detail on these images we're taking is is uh, I, I can't even explain how, how excited we are about this. So tell me about the ARED and your exercise routine in space. One of the biggest things for us is floating around. We never load up our bodies like we do on Earth as we're walking around. And so that leads to uh, bone density loss, uh, hip, hip issues, and uh, back issues. So some NASA engineers created this absolutely fantastic machine. It allows us to do squats, deadlifts, bench press, uh, curls, just about anything. And using that, uh, we have basically solved these issues of, uh, of bone loss during weightlessness. As far as keeping your, your body in good shape, clean water is another uh, critical component of surviving in space, and uh, you get it in an interesting way. Actually, uh, you couldn't be more on the money there. So we're actually standing right near our bathroom, and uh, if our commander, Steve, will just pan up, what we have here is called our urine processor. And uh, to me, if we're ever going to go to Mars as... Uh, in a, in a human rated type of spacecraft, this is what we're going to need. So uh, every time we go to the bathroom, which is uh, right beside me here, um, and actually I'm upside down, uh, the bathroom is, is this way, but uh, all of our urine goes into this gigantic machine. The brine gets processed out, the urine gets filtered, and then the urine gets pressed over from here into this machine, which is just our water processor, and that's going to take all the all the condensation out of our air. It takes human sweat, uh, condensation from the air conditioning systems, and that cleaned urine, and uh, runs through this machine and comes out as our filtered drinking water. And the last question I have are about some of the tools, the pistol grip tools and tape and equipment that you use uh, that are more traditional earthbound tools, things you might have in your garage but are critical to life up there. Since this is a tech show, we got to start with the pistol grip tool. And this is, uh, when we go out and do a spacewalk, this is the workhorse right here. Uh, anytime we drive a bolt on the outside of the space station, we need to go to an exact torque. And uh, this is basically your, your gigantic uh, battery-powered screwdriver that most people have in their garage now. Only this one is uh, super sophisticated. Uh, my favorite part about this is when we train with it on Earth, you absolutely have to use two hands at all times to hold it because it's so incredibly heavy. And up here, uh, it just weighs nothing, and I really like playing with it up here. And then uh, some of the other just common things that you have in your house, which are uh, basically indispensable for us, is standard roll of gray tape. Uh, this thing works everything for us. It's uh, fix up your, your uh, shoes if they get a hole in them, rip a piece off and put it somewhere, and now it becomes a tether. I can put my 100-pound pistol grip tool right on that, and it's not going to go anywhere. So for us, uh, tape is extremely valuable, and we go through our fair share of this. Thank you very much for sharing your tech essentials with us. Reed Weissman aboard the International Space Station. <laughs>